Now we're going to see the effect of the temperature on solubility and how we can utilize that to actually do something what's called fractional crystallization. So we know that some compounds uh, are affected a lot by temperature as far as the sol solubility is concerned. For example, potassium nitrate, we'll dis we can dissolve 112 grams of potassium nitrate in 100 milliliters of water when the temperature is 60 degrees centigrade. And when the water is zero degrees centigrade, we can only dissolve 12.1 grams of potassium nitrate per 100 milliliters of water. So you can see that's a huge difference. When it comes to sodium chloride, at zero degrees centigrade, 100 milliliters of water can dissolve 34.2 grams of sodium chloride. And at 60 degrees centigrade, we can dissolve 38 grams per 100 milliliters of water. So you can see that for sodium chloride, there's not a lot of difference with the 60 degree temperature change. Now, what happens if we have a mixture? Let's say we have 100 grams of potassium nitrate mixed with 10 grams of sodium chloride. And somehow we want to separate the sodium chloride from the potassium nitrate, or better yet, we want to separate the potassium nitrate from the sodium chloride. We don't want the sodium chloride in there. How do we do that? Well, we, we find a way to purify it by dissolving the mixture in water that's at 60 degrees centigrade. And let's say we have 100 milliliters of water, we raise the temperature up to 60 degrees centigrade, and we dump our mixture into it, stir it around, and we know that since there's only 100 grams of potassium nitrate, and only uh, 10 grams of sodium chloride, they will both dissolve in that water and there should be sufficient water there to dissolve both compounds. All right, now, um, what do we do next? Well, we'll cool the whole thing down to zero degrees centigrade. So first we stir things around, everything is dissolved. Now we cool things down to zero degrees centigrade. Well, sodium chloride will still be in solution, will not precipitate out because even at zero degrees centigrade, that 100 milliliters of water can still hold in solution 34.2 grams of sodium chloride. However, the potassium nitrate, we can all, it can only hold 12.1 grams of potassium nitrate at zero degree centigrade, which means from the 100 grams of potassium nitrate that we had in solution completely dissolved, all of it will precipitate except for 12.1 grams. So that means, hmm, 87.9 grams will precipitate out. So that would be 87.9 grams of potassium nitrate will precipitate out of solution, will become a precipitate at the bottom of your beaker. Then you want to filter it. Then you take your solution at zero degree centigrade, you pour it through a filter, the solution part, the aqueous part that contains a little bit of silver, uh, potassium nitrate and all of the sodium chloride will go through the filter and what will remain inside the filter will be of course wet but solid uh, potassium nitrate in solid form. And then of course after you dry it and put it back into a, into a container you now have almost 90 grams of potassium nitrate that is now being freed from the, um, from the sodium chloride. And so that would be the way in which you can actually figure out how to take the potassium nitrate out of your contaminated mixture that now also had sodium chloride in it. And that's how you use the, what we call fractional crystallization to accomplish that.